Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on here and chat you through the equipment that I bought for vlogging. I'm fairly new to vlogging as a whole, so I did a lot of research before I invested all my money into buying a MacBook, a mic, a lavalier mic, um, a SSD, which became apparent that I needed after a month of having my MacBook, and um, my camera of course, and the tripod that came with it, and a few other bits I guess. So I just wanted to chat you through and give a bit of a review of all the products that I chose. Um, I'll explain why I chose them and I'll link all of them down below so you can go ahead and buy them yourselves. Um, but I just got a package from Amazon um, with my SSD card. So I'll start with this because it's so cute. Like I thought from the picture that it was gonna be this like heavy duty, like thick. I don't know what to compare it to, but I thought it was gonna be heavy and big, but it's so cute. Oh my God, look at that. I guess it is sort of like a, a memory stick, but it's just a bit different. Hopefully it came with the right things. Cause I've got a MacBook. So I opted for a MacBook because of their lifespan and I got an eight gigabyte one. And I'm not sure whether that was the right decision or not yet, but I, it was just so much more expensive for the 16 gigabyte laptop. So I've gone ahead and bought that as well. Just because I think it goes without saying that you need a MacBook if you're gonna be doing a lot of video editing. So I have this cute little fan, cute little, I always say that. If you watch my other vlogs, you'll know I just come out with cute little all the time. So it's got, it comes with a um, converter for USB, which I don't need, but it comes with this, which should plug into my laptop. Yeah, perfect. So that plugs into my laptop. So the reason I ordered this yesterday and it cost me 125 pound was because I realized very fast that, okay, so I bought my laptop for my birthday back in the end of August. And then I've had, so I've had it about a month. And as of this week, it's actually been giving me that little loading circle on iMovie when I'm trying to edit my videos, which means you can't do anything. You can't use the iMovie software that I use. Um, and when I bought my laptop actually, I'm jumping around here a bit, but when I bought my MacBook, it came with um, a £125 gift voucher for Apple products in the Apple store. So I do plan to use that to buy Final Cut Pro. But I'm just getting started, so I decided to use iMovie for now. But I am finding it a bit restrictive where you can place like the text and the titles. So I think one benefit of having Final Cut Pro that I can already see, and the reason I might buy it soon, is because of that flexibility that you get. Um, and I think, once I'm familiar with iMovie and editing, I'll definitely go ahead and buy Final Cut Pro. But I don't have that yet, so I won't review that. But um, yeah, this little thing will apparently stop any issues that you have with the loading bar in iMovie. I should say that I'm not any type of tech expert here. This is just my, my experience of my research. Um, so yeah. For a beginner starting out, this is what I've gone with and what I'm using for these vlogs. This is supposed to prevent any of that loading errors and um, it, it's essentially supposed to read and write files faster. So you can save things faster and you can basically just operate quicker, which is what you need. You need smooth workflow when you're editing vlogs. So this came today. And it's gonna be so easy to carry around. I thought that it would be harder to fit in my case that I bought. I'll show you the case in a minute. But I also have here a little lavalier mic because I decided to go for the Canon G7X Mark II. The Mark III actually comes with um, a camera, an um, external mic input. And so I had a huge debate in my mind that I just thought, now that the Mark III has come out, the Mark II is a lot less, is a lot cheaper. And the company I work for also um, have Argos within their 
group, so I get 15% discount on Argos products. So I got a bit of discount for this one. I think it was 500 pounds and I bought it for 425. Um, it came with a micro SD card and a Joby Gorilla Pod, which has been great. Um, it's a bit finicky to like move the Joby Pod around, but I suppose that's what you're gonna get because it, you can latch it onto certain things. Um, oh my God, this is all over the place, I'm sorry, but this, is, this pouch came with my microphone. And that was the point I was making, that you can't put a mic into the Canon G7 Mark II. So when I first started recording this, I had to go on my laptop, plug in the three millimeter jack, and I had to press record. And then when I open iMovie, I have to drag the file from voice memo, I have to save it, and then in my, I have to save it in my finder, and then drag it into iMovie, and then line them up which has been pretty easy so far. As you can see here, it won't just let you drag and drop from voice memo into iMovie, so you have to save your voice memo into your files first, and then that should let you drag the file over into iMovie with no issues. I think it is a bit of, you have to, when you split the files in iMovie, you have to split the visual and the audio and then sort of like delete them at the same time so that's a little bit fiddly but it's, it's a way around it so yeah um, I've listened to the audio recording of some of the vlogs I've already filmed and I think it sounds okay with that with the audio from the Canon G7X you get a lot of hissing in the background so even if I am just sat here I'm in a peaceful neighborhood environment not in the city or anything. You could just hear a hissing in the background. So it's a lot nicer to have this. But I am starting this as a travel vlog, so subscribe if you want that content. I'm moving to Australia in a couple of weeks, and so I wanna create travel content and travel vlogs. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to plug this into my phone with a converter because I have an iPhone. It doesn't have a three millimeter jack, which is fine, I've got one of those. I'm gonna have to kind of remember to press record and press on my camera which when you're just grabbing some quick footage is probably going to be a bit like all over the place and you know sort of like oh I need to put that on as well ah uh, so yeah that's just something I'm gonna to have to deal with because of the nature of the camera that I bought a bit annoying that they didn't put a um, an external mic input into the camera but it is what it is another thing to say about the mic is that the reason I got one a month after I bought everything else was because I was just like, I couldn't find any useful information on what mics to buy for the Canon G7 because obviously you can't mount this on the camera which is why I have to wear it as like a lav mic. And this is the Smart Lav from um, Rhoda, who are an Australian brand. They seem to be the go-to brand for audio and mics. So with that, it means I can't, fix the mic onto my camera and, and it's obviously going to be down here instead of over here whereas a lot of vloggers have their camera mounted onto their camera and then they speak and it'll pick it up but I guess if I'm recording with somebody else like in my previous vlog with my friend Jamie um, I guess I'd need two of those lav mics because I wouldn't be able to pick up his voice as well as mine so yeah, there's a couple of things to overcome with this, but there doesn't seem to be many tutorials and videos out there about what mics to use for Canon G7. So that's what I've had to do um, to get around it, and I'm sure a lot of other people have, because I had a big debate in my head about whether to get this camera, or whether to get the Sony camera, and that one was more expensive, so I guess that's why I went with this one. Um, I mean, a few other good things about this camera is the screen flips up. So right now I can see my face on the screen as I'm recording this video and it's really nice and portable so I can take it when I am traveling. So main reason I didn't get a DS DSLR, DLSR, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not um, into photography, I'm into photography, but I'm, I don't have much experience with photography and different lenses. So I'm just about learning with this camera what the aperture setting is and how to use shutter speed priority. So um, I've been out and about and taking some practice um, photos, which have been actually pretty good, but I'm not that comfortable with the camera yet. So 
when I am taking pictures out and about, it does take me a few times sometimes to get it right. And I will say that I heard that the autofocus is better with the Mark II instead of the Mark III. So I don't know how bad the Mark III is with their autofocus, but this camera is relatively good and I don't have any other experience of other cameras. So go to another review for that. I haven't had major problems with it basically. So, so far so good. Um, the package, if you are in the UK and you're going to order from Argos or it comes in a bundle, it came with a 32 gigabyte, a 32 gigabyte memory card. That ran out for me very fast. Um, so if you're gonna get a memory card, I'd go with the one that I got, which was 156 gig gigabytes, I think. There's one that was double that, but I just thought if I'm traveling around and I lose my memory card, there's gonna be a lot more stuff on that one to lose. So I plan to just get another one before I go. And I'm also thinking of getting another battery as well, because I think that's gonna be, when I'm on the road, um, I'm always gonna be able to charge my devices. So you probably wanna get another battery as well. I'm sure you've watched loads of other reviews and videos on what equipment you need if you're starting out but I guess I just wanted to add my perspective if you watch my channel and if you're thinking of starting a vlog then you might want to look at the things that I mean this is my after doing all the research I did I know I know that Los LeBlanc started out with um, a Canon G7 um, Rebecca Ellie still uses Canon G7 but that's primarily what she used for a lot of her vlogs for a lot of years and also um, backpacking bananas. I think she had one of these. I think now she has a Sony one. Um, and so does Rebecca Ellie. So basically lots of the vloggers I was into at the time, they became my trusted source of information and I loved their vlogs so much. I was sort of like, well, if they're what I'm aspiring to, then I wanna get similar equipment. So I went ahead and bought this one. Ooh. Can't reach to get anything now. See, this is the problem. If I'm sat somewhere, I need to take my whole laptop with me in order to. Oh, and by the way, this is the case I got. So I chose purple, and it came. It was from Amazon as a package. It came with the keyboard as well, um, which doesn't stick on. By the way, it's just one of those that sort of fits on and it kind of sticks. The touch bar on this laptop has just amazed me. Like I've never seen anything like it, and. When I've got it next to my work laptop, which is an old Dell laptop from what, two years ago and it's already dying on me and I'm just so glad that I bought a MacBook, but now I've got the task of keeping it mine, not losing it and not getting it stolen. So yeah, this one kind of, um, it looks a bit more tacky than I expected and the bottom looks better without the, um, the case on, but you know, you need that extra protection. This is about 30 quid and it came with screen protector which I haven't put on yet, a little camera shutter thing and the case so that's what I was about to go and get to show you. This case so um, I quite like I quite like how it ooh, I just, see what I mean I just my um, memory card just slipped out because I'm trying to keep things in here but I don't close things so I'm just making a nightmare for myself. So yeah it comes with an extra one of these keyboard things and um, you can put all your things in here. And now I know that fits, that is perfect. So if there's anything I need to hold on to while I'm traveling, it's this case with all my things in it. And it's got things in it so it helps to keep the laptop gripped inside. So yeah, that was about 30 quid from Amazon. Lociso, I think the brand is, if that's how you pronounce it. And Oh, by the way, I got this cute bum bag from Nice. Very cute. Oh, David's home now, so I'm going to stop the recording. But I also bought a camera case, and I will come back and show you that later. Careful of doing baby boy. Huh? Careful of doing baby boy. <laughs> Give me copyright claim. <coughs> that is way too bright. I'm not sure if there's much I can do about that brightness, but it's not for much of the video, so 
it is what it is. Another thing I wanted to say was, so I was just looking at my budget spreadsheet and I realized that I've also bought um, Epidemic Sound. So it's 86 pound for the year. I think I got a month free, but yeah, it's not too much, but it means you can use copyright free music in your videos. Now, I've heard other people just find free soundtracks on Smart, on SoundCloud, but it sounds like a bit more effort to me. And Epidemic Sound is split so you can see, you can browse by like different genres, different moods, and then um, you can also type in like cooking or something and it'll give you suggestions for what people use for that. So I think it was worth it and I'm quite enjoying using it. It's very easy. Be even easier now I've got my external hard drive. Another thing to say about this hard drive that you will definitely need is um, they've got a nice summary on here which says you can store, edit and curate large photos, videos, video libraries at blazing fast speed. So that is what this is all about and why you'll probably need one even if you have a MacBook because it's got the M1 or M2 chip but that doesn't matter because if you don't have the SSD drive then an 8 gigabyte with 200 and something of memory I always get confused between this I don't know whether which is long and short term memory as I said I'm not an expert but it's probably something you'll need. I feel like I was going to say something else as well. Plane going past. Ooh, I'm definitely excited to travel in. I love airplanes. I don't see many planes pass here, but we're about 20 minutes driving from Heathrow in Watford. Oh, exciting! I'm so excited! Mm. When I was in London living, I see planes all the time. And it, when I was younger, I used to want to work as an air hostess in an airport because they just loved planes and the idea of going away. So that's very exciting. Oh, I'm just doing a review of all the things I bought. Because look, look how cute this is. It's the SSD, the external oh, hard drive. How cute is that? I thought it was going to be really big for some reason. Probably they used to be. And it came with um, a lead to plug it in, which is great. The only other thing I was going to review was my camera case. So, surprisingly, given how popular the Canon G7 are, there weren't many on like Amazon. It's bad I get all my stuff from Amazon, but yeah. So I got this um, Mega Gear camera <laughs> and it straps around your neck. But it kind of stands out. So we were out and about in a park and we've taken some photos and it really does stand out. So I may, if I was in hindsight, may, may get the black one, so it doesn't stand out as much, but um, but yeah, it's, you know, but it's kind of hard case. Um, all you can fit in there is the camera. <coughs> um, it doesn't have any other safety bits, so, you know, it was kind of the only option I had really, so. All right, I think David wants to change out of his work clothes now, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more travel content.